an air pressure model. It's kind of hard to see what happens when we pop a bolt. The contents are invisible, but with a little bit of an experiment, we can make the contents visible. In this case, by adding some balls to a balloon instead of air. Here we have the same number of foam spheres outside as inside this latex balloon. Popping this balloon is not just a matter of using a pin, since what we're using for air molecules are much bigger than air, real air molecules. We need to have a little bit bigger slit. In this case, we use scissors until we get an opening big enough to start the, the balls from coming out. To get a more impressive display, now we have 52 of those foam spheres, 2 inch foam spheres, all packed into this one balloon. And we know that we're going to have to have a bigger hole, at least the size of the balls before they'll start erupting from this environment. And these balloons are pretty tough, so it takes a bit to get it going, but the end result is pretty dramatic. Let's try a different view in very slow motion and see what we get. 